What is up, guys? We are back with another react. Oh, just kidding. Story time. Part two. How we met. Part two, or how we started dating. Part two. Um, part two. So, in the last video, we explained like the initial how we met. Before you watch this video, you should go and watch our other video, our other uh, story time before you watch this. Um, because this part is going to be the second time we hung out and... So you want to see the first time, or hear about the first time before the second. Yeah, because one comes before two, if That's you right. guys didn't know that. The basic math, math. <laughs> so the second time we hung out, um, I think we went to... We weren't dating, just remember, we weren't just, dating. Just friends. Just friends. Group of four, me, her, and then our two other friends. And we went to... Was it my cousin? Yes. So me, you, my cousin, and then your friend. Yes. We went to Mall of America, which Is was the biggest mall, mall in the world. So. Yes. And they got a theme park inside, and we went on rides, and that was super fun. We went to candy stores. And then we went to what, like Little Six or something after that because we were bored? Oh, oh my gosh. Funny story of that, too. This is the Sphinx time. Was this it? This is when it happened. Okay, yeah. okay. Ashton was putting money in the machine. I wasn't into slots like really at all. So maybe I'd put like ten bucks in or something. She the put, casino like, was the hangout spot for me and my cousin. So we thought we'd go to the casino with them again, you know, because wait. Yes. You know, I don't remember hanging out with you twice. I remember hanging out with you once and then going and staying at Mystic. Seriously? Yeah, I that's how I remember it. Oh wow, that's crazy. Yeah. No. Uh, so we were at the casino and she's playing the Sphinx game and she puts like 20 bucks in and loses it all. And I put a dollar in and I win 20. So that makes her want to play it again. She's like, oh, that's not fair, you know, blah, blah. So she tries it again. And I put another like what, like a five in or a 10? Something like that. And I win like 212 bucks. And God, the look on your face. I felt so bad but then good at the same time. You didn't share it, so clearly you didn't feel bad. Yeah, I don't share money. That was never a thing growing up. Money is that one thing that you kind of just uh, you hoard to yourself. I'll help you out if you need me and do stuff like that, but you're trying to ask for money. I wasn't asking you. Exactly. I, know I you never are. asked you. I was like, what? But I think I won some money too, though. Well, we paid for your food at Perkins. No, you didn't. Uh huh. No, you didn't. Yeah, we did. No, you didn't. Me and Celso both did. No, you did not. Yes, we did. No, you did. Are you sure? Yeah. Pretty positive we you did. You never did. I think we did. No, you didn't. I think we did. No, you didn't. I think we did. No. I we All did. I got was a freaking thing of oatmeal. So? So pay for You guys didn't pay I'm pretty for sure us. we did. Do you want me to call my cousin and ask her right now? God. No, because that'd be awkward. She's working anyway, so I can't. So, we go to the casino, and... I don't really remember this part too much besides the casino and um, the Mall of America. I don't recall what we did. Did we do anything else? Or was it just the casino and the Mall of America? Yeah, that's what it was. Okay, was so the first time we hung out, it was Perkins. Okay. Yeah. So we go to Mystic and we're playing yeah, so games. So it's a different time. So yeah, we probably didn't pay for it then. What? Now I know we didn't pay for it. My bad. I thought yeah, we totally stupid. did. It just made sense to me. God, I knew you didn't. Not you didn't pay for it the first time either. No, the no, first, the first time definitely went though. But we never. I don't think we ever hung out with my cousin after that. Yeah. We didn't. Twice, yeah. The first time we hung out, we went to Mystic and Perkins. The second time was the mall and Little Six. Right, was it Little Six or was it Mystic? Little Six. Okay. Anyway, it's been a long time. It's hard to remember. Anyway, that I think that's all that really happened that time. The juicy one is what happened. <laughs> the third yeah. time. So, the third... And you'll have to catch it in the next... No. I'm just playing. Not happening. This video's only been going for three minutes. We haven't got to anything yet. Okay, so we went to the casino and I dropped a penny on the floor. I bent over. John rammed me in the butt on accident. Not like that, but like, actually, you stop yourself. Yeah, I stopped myself. Actually I was like, I was flirting with him, and I was like, hardcore. "Ooh, a penny!" And I bent over to like pretend to pick up a penny, even though there was really no penny there. And he's like, "Whoa!" 
and I was just raised poor, so I'm like, well, where's that penny that's mine? Um, and then that was pretty much the night, and then I remember it was the middle of winter. It was like December, and we went to Mystic again with two of our friends, not my cousin and the other person we went with before, but two different people, a guy and a girl. I mean, it wasn't the casino, we just got, your grandma got a free room at the hotel. Yeah, well, what? It was the casino. We went to the casino again, but we went so we could stay the night at the, at the right. casino. We got this room at the casino the third time, and that was just the hangout spot when we were younger. You know, like, what do you do? You know, go shopping, go to the mall, go out to dinner, go to a movie, like, go to the casino. Like, that's just, you know, there wasn't a whole lot to do in the winter time. So we go to the casino, my grandma gets us this free room. And John brings some alcohol. At the time, we were underage. I was 18 and a half, and you were 19. 19. And we stay the night in this casino, and we're. <laughs> should we share all of the information? Or. <laughs> we were allegedly smoking and drinking, partying, because we were young, obviously. And. <laughs> We had gone downstairs, I believe, and we were so ske like so sketched out because my grandma had gotten us this room. We took care of the room. We didn't like damage anything. We were very respectable of the hotel. Like that's just us. We would never do that. But we were drinking and we were having fun. So we go downstairs and we for some reason we had to meet with like the or were we trying to sneak into were we trying to sneak Nathan into the casino? I think so. I think we I were think trying so. to sneak Nathan into the casino because he wasn't 18 yet. He was like 17. And um, so, and we were all drinking. Remember that. We were all drinking. And none of us were 21. So, we go down to the casino and I don't remember who it was, but some lady came up to us and she stopped us from going in the casino and she's like, can we see your IDs? And I gave her mine. John gave him. John gave her his. And then the girl that we were with gave her her ID and then, or did she or did she not even have one at the time either? She had one that was like her sister's or something. Yeah. I don't remember. She, I think she used her sister's ID because they look similar and the, I think the lady believed it. Yep. And <sighs> then Nathan, our friend, he gives them, his, or he tells them he doesn't have his. He left it in the hotel room. So she's like, well, you can't go in unless you get it. And the lady got all sketched out, and we went back up to the room. We were super freaked out. No, that... no, you missed a big part. Did I? Yes. What? She got sketched out and said, well, he needs to have an ID to be in here. And yeah, said, like well, in the hotel doesn't. in general, like in the building, yeah, he needed an idea. Because my grandma got us that room. She was supposed to be staying there with us because you can't just take the free room that you get for your, like, because you, for staying at the casino, you get, like, a free, like, coupons in the mail. Hey, you have one free night if you, jo if you go to the casino or whatever. You, it's like you earn these coupons for how much you go to this casino. Yes. So. So, the, we're trying to explain this lady. Well, I, I tell her that it's all, he's my brother, it's fine, you know, we'll just go back to the room. She's like, no, you guys go get your stuff and leave. Like. She was super rude, actually, about that part. Because I don't think she was in the right at all. That's not the law. You don't have to carry your she was ID just... around if you're under the age of 18 or whatever. But either way, you don't got to carry it around. If you left it in the room, you left it in the room. You know, well, we were four people. young, you know, we weren't even... None of us were... Two of us were 18, and then two of us were under 18. So at the time, you know, she probably just felt like that position of power, like oh, these four kids are probably assholes and they're probably up to no good, so I'm going to use my position of power to my advantage. Right. And yeah, so... Cause she should have just been like, oh, I'll go back to your room and get it then. But no, it was just like, you guys are out then. It's like, oh, damn. This so is we rush up to the room. We're all freaking the frick out. Like, I started out, I w my, my heart was like pounding out of my chest. I'm like, oh my god, I'm going to go to jail. Like, this isn't good. And John's like, oh shit. Like, all of us were freaking out. Me and the girl we went with, I think, got up to the room first. And you and Nathan came after us. And I, me and the girl were super like, we were both freaked out. We were like, oh my god. So we go into the room, me and her, and we're sitting there cleaning up all the bottles. We had beer cans. Like, I, I think we had like a 24-pack of 
uh, beer, and then we had a bottle of Kinky that you got for me through one of your friends because none of us were old enough to get alcohol. And um, I, she, the girl was helping me clean up the room, and the spot that I had picked was I was like, okay, I'm going straight to the alcohol. We gotta hide that like right now. And I don't know what she was doing. I have no idea, but she was doing something. And so I'm sitting here throwing all the, I found the first suitcase I saw, which happened to be his, I'm throwing all these beer cans in the, into his bag, and I'm like, oh, well, it's probably going to leak out in his bag, you know, there's probably still a little bit of dribble left but in the, fuck. well, I didn't think about it, I was like, dude, we just need to hide this, so I threw all of them in his suitcase, then him and Nathan come in the room, and I'm like, dude, I threw all that in your suitcase. Don't get mad at me, but I, we, I'm not getting caught for having alcohol in here. So he, la him and I laugh about it now because it looks like I was setting his ass up. Like, hey, it you know, totally like, did. but I wasn't. I was just trying to get rid of it because I didn't want them to come in there, and you know. So we thought they were coming up to the room to kick us out, and we were all freaking out. Thankfully, they didn't. We the, nobody ever came up to our room, so all that was for nothing. And I think after that, we st I have videos of that night. They burned the place down. The wood is the way that is. In the wood, <laughs> I just call it wood. What's what? I call the ice. <laughs> tiles <laughs> but yeah we had fun uh we ended up smoking in the room i think after that and then um you ate some i ate some yeah i don't know why but i was dude it was so those were my like i was never a partier or anything like that i, I didn't really party a lot but I had like a six month span where I was just having fun and it's not like I was an alcoholic, I wasn't like a gambler, I wasn't like a druggie, none of that. I was actually a very good kid, it's just that once in a while I I'd, I'd had fun, you know, like why not? And when I did have fun, I had fun, like it was a good time, but yeah, so I remember the next day in the morning, John had his truck and we were all in his truck and I was the first one to get dropped off because um, I lived right next to the casino and he lived an hour away so I got dropped off and then all of them went home. I don't know what you guys all did but Spray. you dropped them all off and then... Yeah, I had to go to work, remember? Oh really? Yeah, so I remember that day I was like super, super, super sad and like depressed because first of all I was hungover. Second, I felt really lonely. Like, I, whenever I'd have, like, a high point and I came down from that, like, it's like, it's like it. You forgot the juiciest part of that night. Did I? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Damn. Okay, woman. backtrack. You can. You gotta make me explain it? All right. <laughs> so, after all that was said and done, we're all, everybody's laying down. There's two super beds. Me and her laying in one. Just... I thought that I was gonna get stuck laying, in, like, sleeping in the same bed as Nathan. And I was like, dude, this kid's like my brother. And, like, I'd be fine with that, but I'm not trying to cuddle with him. I'm trying to cuddle with you. Which you did, too, because I was just laying there, innocent John, and she comes up and, like, forces herself into me saying, that's the side of the bed I sleep on. I remember that. I was just laying sideways on the right side of the bed. Think about it, you... think about it. What side of the bed do I still sleep on? The whole relationship. Right side of the bed. But she like pushes herself like back into me a little bit and I'm just like. I shove my in his. You know what? And I don't gotta say where it went from there. The other couple or those other couple people were asleep so. We, so uh, they were. I doubt. I doubt I, Nathan was. I, don't think, they slept. I was, think Nathan was awake the whole time. We're bad people. She was definitely out, but he. I'm pretty sure he was awake. He says he was sleeping. But... Right, right. But you think he really was? No, I uh, just think he was. For like what? Three hours? Because we did it twice. Oh yeah. Maybe four hours. It did was... we use a? We did the first time, didn't we? And the second time we didn't. No, I think we did both times. No? I don't think we did. I think you're right. 
What did we do? I had birth control. Oh, that's right. You told me that. Dude, and then like a week later, I told, I was like, dude, I haven't got my period, and I don't know. Like... And then you're freaking me out when you said that. I'm like, what? But I got it, so. That so, yeah. was the juicy part. That was, yeah, so that's why I was at home, and I was, John dropped me off, and I was super, super depressed and sad, and like, I just felt really down, because the thing with me is like, I need people, I need to be around people to be happy. Like, I, it's not that I'm not independent, because I am independent, it's just that I need company in order to stay like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, if I'm by myself all the time, I get really lonely and I get depressed. And, like, when I have people around, it, it like, it's like that helps me. And so, um, when I was at home, I was just really sad. And we weren't dating. We weren't, it, like, as far as I knew, it was just a one night stand, you know, and we were friends. Like, I didn't think anything of it you know like I was like okay well he's probably a fuck boy and whatever when really I was like that and he was like this innocent little only been with one person type thing hey now what okay you were you didn't have to word it that way though you were innocent yeah, if it, it, dude, you would, you and I would have never, you and I would have never done. What made you, if you had only been with one other person before me, why did you allow that to happen? Like, I feel like that's way, like, I feel like you're a liar. I feel like you, okay. you've either been with more people than you tell me, or you have like really dirty, like, I don't know. But I just feel like it's too good to be true. Like, why would you have? done that with me if you had such control where you've only been with one person i think you started to get you started to go through like those ho days where like you started to do more and like whatever like you let more happen you just more laid back with stuff i mean like you just were we hung out like four times i was totally into three. you you were into me three i initiated it Three or four. Yeah, but still. I initiated it. You didn't, like... Yeah, you did, and then I acted on it when you did that. Yeah, I know, but it doesn't make sense to me. Oh, not. Like, I was totally into you, you were into me. I'm not gonna... Yeah, but you didn't seem... You didn't come off as that kind of person. Now that I know you, you don't come off as that kind of person. Like, you're... You only had been with one person before me. You were super reserved, it seemed like. But then you, like, slept with me, like, three days in. And we weren't even dating, we we're friends. I really liked you. You really liked me, so oh, I just went for it. Why do I feel like I'm being interrogated now? Like, this is supposed to be a story time, and all I'm of a sudden, starting to realize, we're in a courtroom. I'm starting to realize things, man. You were actually a fuckboy, you just didn't tell me how many people you've really been with. Alright, guys, next. You, you can see the rest in the next video. Bye. No, I'm just kidding. You're terrible. You All just right. had to ruin this whole part, I was didn't just you? joking. God. That's right. All right, so fast forward. Um, John and I were talking, and we ended up. How long after that did we hang out? I know it was like Christmas Eve, I think. Was, was it Christmas Eve the first time we had hung out after that? No. No. I don't think we hung out for like another week after that or so. No, you came over like a week afterwards. Okay, and I stayed maybe a night? I think a night, yeah. And then I drove back home an hour home. Yep. And I stayed there and I was so lonely. Like I was really sad because like I really liked John and I just felt like we had like chemistry together. I don't know, like really good sparks and... I wanted to like do everything and be around you all the time. I think we went clubbing a couple of times together. We um and I, those are the only two times I've ever been clubbing before. Mm -hmm. And uh so I don't even know where to go from here, honestly. What do you mean that was it? The story, no, because That was the part 2 right there was mainly just that hotel room night. Yeah. Cuz that was really when we established like feelings too because we acted on it and we did stuff and then I really liked you and I felt like you were just 
using me though. I didn't know. I not didn't have a lot of relationship experience. So I was like, oh, she probably just. I thought you were one night standing me. Were you Were you sad that day? Were you really sad, like depressed feeling too? Oh God, yeah. Were and you? Then really? I had to go to work like that too. Yeah. You were not. I was too. I was very sad. Really? I didn't want to be away from you. Yeah. Cause Why? I, I liked you so much. You wanted to be me with and you me got all a, the time. Yeah. That's the thing with us though. Like for real. And I've never had this happen to me before with any guys. Like, you and I, when we started hanging out, I, well, whenever I'd talk to other guys, I'd always feel like, hey, I don't want to be clingy. But me, I like to be around the person that I'm into. I want to be around all the time. Like, that's just how I am. Not that I'm clingy. It's just that I get lonely. And I, I don't have... I don't like get along with girls really easily so first of all I don't have girlfriends I'd rather hang out with like my cousins or my sister or stuff like that you know family um, and usually in all the situations I had ever been in my guy my friends were usually guys and no there was no like like sexual thing revolved around that like everybody always says well if you're just friends with guys it means that you're a hoe no it's not yeah, it does sometimes mean that, but that wasn't me. Like, I, I just like to have friends, and usually the people that I ran into and the people that, you know, I came across, it just, they were friends, and they were, they happened to be guys. Me and my cousin, literally, we were so, because at the time, I was always hanging out with my cousin, because I had nobody to hang out with, because I moved, and... We just, we got along with everybody. We'd literally meet people at the casino. We'd meet people anywhere we went. It was just fun, but it's just a friend thing, you know? So I just got really lonely, and I always, when I like somebody, I like to be around them. And then it, when I started seeing you, even before we dated, you were like that too, and it really helped me. It made me realize, well, hey, if he wants to be around me all the time and I want to be around him all the time then we're in the same boat and I don't have to really worry about like you if we were to get serious like you weren't gonna see other people behind my back and stuff like that because you couldn't be around me all the time or want to be around me all the time if you were doing that right you know what I mean we just had really crazy sparks too on those first couple times of hanging out it was just ridiculous oh. <laughs> <Girl>. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> she spit it right out. I swear. Yeah, she's, done. she's pretty good at spitting. She's going to throw up, bro. Uh, I, we were I felt such an attraction towards you that I never felt ever before. And it was super why? strong. And I felt like you felt it too. So that's why it was so easy to... What, what, what were you attracted about? Like, we were I, friends? It was just your attitude. Some, we just clicked so well. But anyway, so we ended up hanging out on Christmas Eve and he spent the night and he left Christmas morning and I was really sad again. Um, Christmas Eve we went to Monsters Inc. Universe, or was it Monsters Inc. 3D, the regular movie? The regular movie in 3D, yes. And John no, jumped it. when the little minions blew their little thing out of their mouth. Yeah. And John freaked out and he jumped back and it was so freaking funny. We went to the mall before that and we had smoothies together and I didn't eat in front of you, did I? I'm no. Always... We got Subway and smoothies and I felt so awkward because you weren't eating and I was just eating in I, front of you. I'm like, I've always this had is... this thing where I'm afraid to eat in front of other people. I don't know why. Like, I'm getting better. Like, I've obviously changed a lot. Like, I'm not really like that anymore, but I just didn't want to eat in front of you. Yeah, that did make me feel better. I was just like, God, nah, I look like a fat ass. I'm eating an entire foot long in front of you damn near. I didn't finish it, I don't think, but I just remember back to that. It's like, God damn. Yeah. So then we we went to the movie, and then I think you spent the night, and then you left Christmas Day, and you went and spent time with your family. And I went hunting with my dad, actually. Did you? Yeah. And then when did I come over after that? It was Christmas, Christmas Day, that was the 25th. Wow. It was the 20. Was it that? 27th. N no. Because we started dating on the 27th. So, I came over on like the 26th or, or the 27th, I can't remember. It, it and was like Christmas night or something. Yeah, it could have even been Christmas night. I had come, I had drove down to 
your house i was like madly in love with you like i had this really big crush on you and i felt sparks and i felt like i just i can't really say i loved you but i was infatuated with you like right and so we ended up um i ended up going down to your house or yeah i ended up going down to your house and staying like a few days i think can't remember how long and um I I remember I was like, so I haven't you asked me to date you yet? Like, are we gonna date? And you can take over. And that's actually when we started dating because we had plans to go to the casino again. Your grandma. We were gonna was get a hotel. hotel. We were gonna get a hotel room. I think it was on like the twenty. 9th or something like that. Yeah, it was on the 29th and then that day she said that like well, we were doing that you know, we're, we're always together We're not even dating and blah blah so I could tell what she was hinting at. I already had a plan though. I was gonna ask her out at Mystic again because that's where we really got those sparks and they Fully formed so I was like, oh, that's perfect. You know, then at least it's a little bit special and we're somewhere that's relevant But I regret that was the night that also your grandpa was like, oh, I don't think I'm gonna get that hotel room now Blah blah yeah. blah because you have to get it a certain time in advance and it doesn't look like I'm getting it So instead I just asked her right there And it was really cheesy. It was really a lame way of asking me, but I was happy and It wasn't really special. We were laying in his bed and we probably just got done doing it So I don't know something That's, like that. I got yeah, my period probably. on your bed when we in the middle of us doing it that you did <laughs> i got something on the bed sheets I'm hey yeah i got it wasn't it was no. just a tiny tiny bit but still i was like oh my god because like when you first start dating somebody or when you first start like seeing somebody dude we had such a good relationship we still do but it's like after seven years you know like because we started dating december 27th of 2012 so it was one of those things where you've been together for so long that you you look back at it and you're like, God, I missed that. We used to stay up all night long playing Sims together and we never played anymore and I've been dying to, but he doesn't really want to. But we could we could get some Southern Comfort and some Coke and we could, not cocaine, but Coca-Cola and drink and play sims all night long oh man we had so much fun that we would fun. make the ugliest sims ever we'd stay up till five six in the morning and sleep all day and one time should we make a part three to this maybe why we got enough i want to share about the time that your mom walked in on us which with David there? Yeah. No, the time that your mom walked in with the food. Oh, dude. We could that share. Was awkward. We yeah. could do like a part three of just like leading up to where we're at now, like from the point we started dating. So we'll start our story from the day we started dating, and then yeah, after that's that. That's good. Yes, I I agree. A part. But three. it's not gonna be like an official like timeline. It's just probably gonna be random facts of like what has happened throughout the. There might even have to be a part four, like, because seven part years. Part three plus extras. Yeah, because, okay, the camera stopped recording because it was too long, but seven years is kind of a long time to cover, so I feel like we're going to have to make more parts. Let us know down below if you want to see more, and thanks for watching. Hope you like our love story. Yes, yeah. make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, guys, feel free to... Ask us questions. I like to do a sit yes. down and answer questions. Q and A. For you, guys. you know we could. Yeah, we'll do a Q and A. &A. Much better way of saying it. Thank you. Ask questions um, that you have. When you guys see this and you comment down below in the comments, like your questions that you have for us, anything you want regarding our relationship. Um, all right, we will let us know if you want to see a part three, guys, and comment down below your questions, and we will see you in the next Vin story time. No, I was supposed to say video. Mm -hmm. And catch you guys later. Peace. Bye.